Yo, what is going on, guys? So, um, in today's video, uh, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Dino Escape Danger Pack, Scorpius Rex. Um, it comes with Kenji and a gyrosphere. Um, this isn't the, um, Slash and Battle something, I forgot what it's called, um, Scorpius Rex. Um, so yeah, I found this at my Target. My aunt got it for me. Um, I tried paying for it, but she didn't want me to, so, yep. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing. Also, yesterday, um, I did say... In two hours, I would be, hopefully two hours or so sooner, I would be um, reviewing the Camp Cretaceous Spinosaurus in at least two hours or sooner. I did not do that. I ended up going somewhere with um, the family. So, yeah, hopefully by tonight I'll be able to do that video as well. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so, again, this week I will be um, reacting to... My, um, friend's channel, um, I still don't know how to say the name, so, right here, and I will not forget this time to leave his name in the video, right here, his name will pop up right there, right there. Um, so yeah, that's who I'll be reacting to, hopefully by this week, if not next week, um, so yeah, so, let's, um, unbox him real fast. As soon. All right, here we go. Hold on. And we have it opened up. Oh, I'm not gonna show you the box. I completely trashed it. Yeah. So here it is. The uh, Scorpius Rex. He looks insane. He looks. Crazy, he looks awesome. Now, um, I do think the articulation could be better on this guy, but it, it, it's still awesome. Um, before we take a look at the Scorpius Rex, oh my gosh, let's move him aside and take a look at Kenji and the Gyrosphere. So, um, the thing I like about um, the Gyrosphere is it's kind of like, um, the one from the movie, huh? I'm trying to get the camera to focus. There we go. So, like, when you move it, this, the, I don't know how to explain it, but the seat, like, stays in its place, you know? Even though you move it. It's like, yeah. So, it's really cool. Um, it's really easy to open up, too. You just, yeah, let's see if, camera to focus up. All right, there you go. Just press that little button right there. Um... I might need two hands to do this. Press that. Yeah, I need two hands to do this. Hold on. Set the camera down. My wife. Right, so, yeah. Just press that button, and then boom, it's open. Yep. And then it has, like, um, this little, um, strap to keep them in the seat and not, like, fall out every two seconds. They have the joysticks right here to control it. Alright, so let's, um, let's get Kenji out of the Jasper. Oh. Oh, I might need two hands for this, too. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's just close the Jasper. No, okay. So, um, here is Kenji. Take a look at his face. Focus. There we go. So yeah, get a close up look at his face. He has the same outfit he does in um, Camp Cretaceous. Um, so the articulation here, you could move his legs like that, make him do splits. Uh, you can put his arm, his leg up like that. And you can't put his leg back, but you can. Um, there is articulation in the elbow, so you can, like, do a kick. Oh, I didn't even notice this. You could twist his knee, too. Um, same thing applies to the other leg and all, so. Um, you can twist his body, too, which is nice. Okay. Get my 
sorry if you hear any background noises. But yeah, so you could, oh shoot, you could um, move his arm like that, and the um, shoulder, move his elbow, like that, um, that high. You can't twist his hand though, that, you can get a noticeable on the right hand. Um, same thing applies to the other arm and his head. You can't, you can make him look up just a little bit though. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, okay yeah, so uh, I forgot where I left off, but, um, so, yeah, uh, I think that's it for Kenji, I think, I forgot where I left off, but, so, that's enough for Kenji, so, yeah, it's just put him over there, uh, he, he fell, oh, that, that, that's fine, so, yeah, like I was saying, um, earlier, uh, with the draw sphere, I guess, like, um, like I was saying, when you, like, move it, the seat stays it in its place, so they're still sitting, um, facing straight, you know, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, like it was in the movie, so, um, I'll just open this, okay, sorry about that, but yeah, so, see, can you like move around, so, yeah, that's what makes it sound like that, um, so yeah, that over there and Kenji. Yeet. Alright. Um now the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh uh, yeah. Hold on. Can I get a drum roll please? Um this is gonna be a crappy drum roll. And the Scorpius Rex. Like I said earlier, he looks insane. Awesome. Incredible. Awesome. So yeah, um, like I also said earlier, um, the articulation on him could have been better, but it's still a really cool figure. Um, so yeah, they, um, the paint in the mouth, they did nice. Um, so yeah, let's open up the jaw like that. The teeth, nice. I like the, um, the eye there. Looks awesome. I can't really focus. It's just my hand. Can't hold the camera skits to save my life. Come on. Okay, that's just wasting too much time. Alright, you know what? Never mind. Oh, wait, can I make it darker or brighter? I think. I would keep it like right there. Alright. Yeah, the articulation could have been better on him. So, um, on the head, you can only. Or the mouth, you can only just open it like that. Um, for the head or neck, you can only put it down that much. You can't really, like, move it to the side or anything. You can only pull it up and down. Um, so, yeah, that's all. You can't, you don't have anything on the, um, body. Nothing. Um, see, on his arm, you could move his arm up, like, that much. And put it down um let's see for his elbow you can like that and for the tail it's you can go up and go down about that much up that much go to the side move it to the side and then um for the leg the knee you, all you got is the knee which barely even moves that much so it barely even moves. That moves a little more, but yeah, so. Yeah, the articulation on him is okay. Um, hold on. Okay, and um, the, um, what's it called? The, uh, the, uh, uh he looks awesome. Yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, oh, um, now I'm going to do size comparison and see how much how tall he is um so let me go get my ruler and some other figures to compare him to i don't have a lot of figures to compare him to because i didn't bring all my action figures like my um venom and my carnage or my wait i don't think any of you guys knew i had that because i got that i don't think i did a review on them but yeah i don't have that right now 
so any of those the captain america nothing right now so yeah let me just go get the ruler and some other figures to compare them okay so um i have the uh, ruler here and he is about 10 inches tall almost 10 inches i no, he is 10 inches tall exactly 10 inches all right so yeah he's 10 inches tall that's more than i thought um, so yeah, now that we see how much, how tall, many inches he is, let's compare him to the other figures. Alright, so here we have him compared to the Spinosaurus I'll be doing a review on soon, hopefully. He's a monster compared to him. Um, um, here we have him with Dark Side, and... So yeah, Scorpius Rex is just a little taller than... Dark side, sorry if you can't see it, the camera's work. There you go. Yeah, he's about a little bit taller than Dark Side. Um, so him compared to Kenji. Kenji is an ant compared to him. Um I will also see how many inches Kenji is. See the jaw sphere next to two. Yeah, so let me grab the ruler real fast. Um Kenji is about three and a half inches tall. See the jaw sphere. Yeah, pretty much the, no, wait, no. Yeah, pretty much the same. Almost the same, yeah. I think, right? Let me see how much Kenji is. Yeah, so uh, pretty much the same. Just a little bit bigger, like. Yeah, so just a little bit bigger. Yep. Alright, so, um, Spinosaurus, um, review, um, yeah, Spinosaurus review should be coming soon. Um, I can't do an unboxing. I already unboxed him. I'm off camera. So, yeah. So, only the review coming out soon. Um, so, yeah. That's all for today's video. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Like I said earlier in the video. Um, here, I'll leave, leave his name in right here again. Oh, wait! Oh, I forgot to scan Scorpius. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so I have a phone and I have a, um, the scanner app. Hold on, oh, uh, scanner app open, hold on. Uh, yeah, so, here I got the scanner app open right now. Let's go ahead and scan his foot real fast. So I'm gonna do that off camera, hold on. Sorry, you guys can't hear it. My phone's jacked up. For some reason, you won't be able to hear it. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and give him a heart. I got the Scorpius Rex. We got to learn some new facts about him, too. So, the first fact is the Scorpius Rex was made using DNA from multiple dinosaurs, including the T-Rex and Velociraptor. Pretty obvious. Um, extremely aggressive. Its mind is described by Wu to be as fragmented and unpredictable as its body. Okay. Third one, if my phone wants to work. Okay. Scorpius Rex is agile with the ability to climb trees. Okay. Additional DNA was sourced from its namesake. The venomous scorpion is this venomous scorpion fish. And then the last one, this is Dr. Wu's first hybrid before the Indominus Rex. Right. So, yep, that's it. Um, sorry if you hear that. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and hopefully you can see that. I'm sorry. Take a look at his full body. Alright. So, yep. Um, Again, sorry, can't hear it. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that, that's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Or if you enjoy any of my other videos I make. Um, it is totally free and much appreciated. Um, also, you get a free invisible cookie if you uh, subscribe. And like right now, like right now, like go, like right now. I I I'm waiting. All right, there we go.
Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, oh, also, if you do subscribe and like, I, if I do get the notification, get your name and all, I will shout you out. Or you can just comment your name and say I subscribed and I will shout you out. Um, also, I'm still looking for my 25th subscriber. I have not found him. I'm looking for him so I can shout him out or her. Because um, YouTube didn't give me the notification when she or he subscribed. So now I don't know who subscribed, who's my 25th subscriber. I know who is my first subscriber. It's going to be the same guy who I'll be reacting to, my friend. But yeah, I don't know who my 25th subscriber is. So I, uh, I need to find you, person, whoever you are, if you're out there. So yeah, um, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and peace out.